Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Good day, y'all. So today we're on a road trip. Uh, we're not going to be picking something up. We're actually going to be dropping something off for a change, which Hubby Lux is very happy about. Not just one thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a number of vacuums in the back that you can see. There's no doggies today. So the pink DC07 is off to be fully refurbed. And then the other vacuums you can see there, the Henry Cordlers, the Hoover thingy-majig that we converted uh, to um, bagged. Um, the Fakir and Lucifer, they're all there in the boot as well. So we are off to see George of AEG123. So we're going to make our journey up to there uh, to drop off the DC07 for him to do a full refurb on and also just to show him some of the other vacuums that he was interested in taking a look at. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take them up. So we're all ready to go. We have got the sat nav set and we are on our way. So I will leave you with some videos of the journey. Okay amigos, we are here, we have been to George's and we have taken all the stuff around for him to see and I had a look at all his collection and bits and bobs and it was fantastic having a look around, it was really good. So you can hear in the background, you can hear George, he's actually vacuuming me because <laughs> I'm covered in cat fur probably. Uh, and what he is using is the Henry Cordler, so let me turn the camera around. There we go, this is George using the, using the Henry cordless that I brought up for the first time. So I'm going to leave it here with him for a couple of months for him to have a go. And what are your first impressions of it? It's not too bad. Yeah. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, it's but... Um, better than I expected for it that way. I thought it was going to be a bit rubbish, but I think it's, it's adequate for, for general use. It's not too bad. I mean, it's grooming the carpet pretty well. The floor head is, and now we're on now we're on uh, high suction. There isn't particularly much difference between the low and the high. I don't think. I don't no. think it really needs the the bottom there. There's not a noticeable amount of difference between the two. You would have to be. I think you'd have to be vacuuming something extremely delicate for you to warrant having to put it on low mode. I suppose as we were saying just before we came, that's probably why there's no um, there's no valve on there. So yeah. Uh, warrant for not having that. No, exactly, because you could turn it down to low, but uh, to be honest, I don't think I've ever really used it on low, even if I was just dusting. I would still only be, I would still use it on the high power, because I just don't think the low power has, e has enough oomph into it. Well, it does a good job of grooming, but that's because of the brush head on it. Now, the only thing I did change on that, which obviously I didn't bring, was the extendable hose. Because when I got it sitting in the utility room, I wanted it shorter. So I put a generic sh um, extendable, you know, um, contractable wand on it. Oh, right. Okay. Which kind of like makes it sort of like smaller. Here we are testing it on the mat. See, when it vacuums stuff up, it does actually go straight into it. It just doesn't. It's very good, I'd have to say, it is really good on hard floors. And the tools on board at the back, I do like that. When I was vacuuming the boot of the car, I, or the carpet of the car, I did find that brush very, very good. See, I never, generally, I never find a use for that. But it's fantastic it's things for like this, Things like this is what I suppose it's designed for. It's brilliant on fur. Really, really good on fur. If I'm doing the cat bed, it's really good. And then obviously you can just vacuum it off. Yeah, exactly. That might take a few more passes. Yes. Yeah. It's normally more powerful from the head.
I think you would definitely find use for it because it's far more robust than a a Dyson. We were saying earlier yeah, you can, you know, you wouldn't treat a Dyson cord just like you treat this. No. You can drag this around. You can smash it into furniture. Exactly. Yeah, it's, At the end of the day, it's, it's a not pneumatic. Gonna break. No. It's not precious on what it picks up, whether it's bits of glass and rubble or You can vacuum stones. without the, the bristles falling out of the, the roller head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Your carbon brushes aren't going to... The carbon fibres aren't going to The only thing, the only slight thing that the Dyson has in its favour yeah. is you can pop it on the wall and that's it. Whereas with the Henry, you've got to store all Yeah, this it's bulky. Well. That's, that well, is if, the you've thing. Got a, if you've got a cupboard or something that you can just slide it into, yeah. then it'll be fine. But if you've got like a utility room and it's gonna, the hose is going to fall out when you open yep. the door, that's the only thing that the Dyson has in its favour. Yeah, its footprint is nice and small. Mm. So we've got two other machines as well. There's, I brought the Fakia up as well. The Klopstroff Schlugelöste. I think it goes without saying we'll have to put it on the, uh, the highest... First. <laughs> so we'd best put it on high and then work down rather yes. than go too low and snap the belt. I'm sure it's probably quite easy to replace the belt on one of these. Yeah, it's just a Electrolux belt. I just grabbed out of the um, cupboard. My stash. Now if you're watching this, you will have most likely seen Dorian's video already. Yes. That's what it looks like underneath. Oh, actually, no, I don't think people have seen it because this is going to go out before the refurb. Oh, okay, right. So that button there, if you if I switch it on... So that increases the power up to 500 watts. So if anyone's got a spare tool set for one of these, you know where to uh, <laughs> send it. <laughs> makes it really hard to use on thick carpet. Yeah, I'm not... I suppose it's because it's only got the two wheels and it's not an even... No. Surface. If it had four wheels... So it's so kind it's of like, even if I could... Even if I did polish the head, I don't think it's going to be like super glidey. It kind it of only, like... It relies, you push down, yes. Yeah, it relies on that to almost accommodate for the extra wheels. Mm. That's why it's, um, it's not very stable when you're pushing it along no. the floor. And mm. as I said to... Um, said to you earlier, if it was a teeny little bit taller, yes, then, um, you know, I suppose the tall people, these are really for old, small, people. old people that want something lightweight, so I suppose that's not really... Old German ladies. An issue, yes. <laughs> a bit like you. A bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it works really well. So there's another one that's been brought in as well that I can see over there, which is, wow... That is beautiful. Now this cleaner doesn't belong to either of us, and this house doesn't belong no. to either of us. No, but, we're uh, just we're just squatting. Yes, we are. Um, he bought this in to give it a try and see how well it works on the carpet. It does work very well. Um, I'll give you a very quick demo because the suppressor we've not taken the suppressor out yet. Mm, kabang. So um, it can only be a short, short little demo. But I think it has a new belt in it as well, so we uh, uh -huh. see.
So I have an exclusive to tell you that I have just bought one of these in pink. Right. From another collector. Um, so I will be at some point featuring the pink Hoover Senior. Which is like the pink ones are the first ones, weren't they, that came they out in that earlier, design? Style, They're the early, early ones, the pink ones. Is this in... Oh, this is a metal base one. Because sometimes you can't always tell by looking whether it's a metal or plastic. Because there's no paint chipping. No, the one... This, but it is, a, it is a metal. So the one I'm buying does have paint chipping on it. So what I'm going to have to do is, unfortunately, I'm going to have to drill out the rivets to remove the bumper so that I can respray. That's all I need to respray is the base. I imagine that will probably come out very easily as well. Yeah, it does, yes, because there's like two little clips underneath metal things and that just comes out because I remember from when I, um, when I did my green one. Well, when I converted it to green. <laughs> uh, and the handle on, on that one will need refueling, but the rest of it is pretty pretty cool. I um, can't remember if that silver thing is on there, but I have got a trim that I use on the car. I've also used it on a couple of Electrolux as well. Um, and it's, um, it's really good. It's a silver trim, so I'll be able to put the silver trim back on it. And also, as well, you can cut it, so you literally could stick it onto any of these to make it look um, with a silver trim Let's as well. Let's have a look underneath. It's in quite good condition. It's clean. It's obviously had new brushes because they're a different colour. Oh, yeah, yeah. What wattage is it? Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, it's 420 watts normally, and then when you click the, the tools, switch. It boosts it up to 650 for the tools. So what makes what I think is kind of like really cool is that that design is like from the 60s? Is this from the 60s? I would think so, yes. I'm sure it is. And yet you look at a brand new Sanitaire. You can still get in the US. And it's identical. Except it's plastic. The hula the underneath is plastic. Mm, I actually think the belt's, the belt's on the wrong way on that. Yeah, it should is. be on that way. Yeah, because that's better. <laughs> but it was still working, wasn't it? Yeah, the wrong way, but it was still working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put these three vacuums together, and then we're gonna finish off the video. So there we go, my vacuum cleaner friends. I don't have my tripod with me, so unfortunately, I've got you balancing on the radiator, so you can't really see the vacuum. So I'll just have to hold it up like that for you to see there we go there we go you can see, see them already yeah, anyway. That's it. Uh, anyway so thank you very much for joining me it was just a bit of a quick kind of like video for my trip up to derby to see the guys and i really have had a fantastic day it's been brilliant and seeing your collection and seeing all the things you do behind the scenes i think it's i think it's fantastic i shall look forward to um i have this on loan for a few months yes I shall look forward to yeah doing a review on it through its paces yeah definitely and also as well i gave uh, as you as you heard in the beginning of the video i gave george the um my dc07 the pink one to be fully refurb so You'll see that as well when it comes back once it's been fully cleaned. Next time you see that, it should be looking nice and shiny. Yeah, definitely. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe that way uh, below for more videos. Stacks of content coming up. I just thought I'd give you this cheeky video to go in for today. And thank you very much, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.